Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Some interesting news about platinum uh, is being used for light fuel cells. Let's take a look at this. This was shared with me by someone named Bob and Doctor Who. Global automotive supplier Bosch expects platinum to play only a minor role in its new fuel cells, giving precious metal markets scant benefit even as the technology gains momentum for pollution-free transport. According to Reuters calculations, Bosch would only need a tenth of the platinum used in current fuel cell vehicles. Hopes of reviving demand and prices of platinum increasingly hinges on widespread uptake of fuel cells and vehicles, ships and trains to make up for dwindling amounts used in each device, analysts say. The spot price of platinum has shed more than 40% in the last five years, burdened by persistent oversupply before rebounding slightly in recent months. But hopes that fuel cells will boost long-term demand may be dampened after Germany's Robert Bosch told Reuters that platinum was expected to play only a minor role in its plans to produce fuel cells. Privately owned Bosch, which last month signed a deal with power cell Sweden AB to mass produce fuel cells, said its fuel cell design was not finished, but it expects them to use only as much platinum as a diesel catalytic converter. A catalytic converter in a diesel passenger vehicle typically uses 3 to 7 grams of platinum compared with around 30 to 60 grams currently needed for fuel cell for the same vehicle, according to analysts. There has been lots of optimization work concerning platinum in fuel cells. Akshin Moritz, Moritz, producer, product manager for mobile fuel cells at Bosch, told Reuters. If you look at a diesel catalytic system, there's about the same amount of platinum content you need for a fuel cell, he added. He declined to give specific estimated figures for the S3 fuel system it is developing with PowerCell and expects to launch by 2022, citing commercial sensitivities. And also Toyota has slashed platinum as well. Bosch's fuel cell deal with PowerCell announced last month was another signal that the technology is poised to be rolled out more widely as governments toughen emissions regulations. China is leading the way, targeting 2 million fuel cell vehicles by 2030. Fuel cells generate electricity through a chemical reaction using hydrogen as a fuel and platinum as a catalyst, but comprise only a fraction of the electric vehicle market, even though they are I'll allow vehicles to travel much longer distances between charges than power than battery powered cars. For years, fuel cells were expected to boost platinum demand dramatically, but doubts have increased due to reports that scientists have found ways to cut the amount of platinum they contain. The best selling fuel cell vehicle, Toyota's Mirai, is expected to cut platinum by two thirds to around 10 grams per vehicle in its next version, down from 30 grams in the current model, according to David Hart, director of E4 Tech Consultancy, based in Luasain. The fuel cell makers all have a pathway of using less platinum, which is fairly clear, Hart said. Toyota Motor Company a Corporation declined to comment. Hyundai Motor Company has cut the amount of platinum needed for the fuel cell stack in its latest edition of its Nexo, released last, released last year, to 56 grams from 78 grams previously, a company spokesman told Reuters. Hyundai plans to invest over 6 billion euros to make 700,000 fuel cell systems annually by 2030. Fuel cells give EVs longer ranges and recharges takes a matter of minutes, a fraction of what it is needed for batteries. Hyundai's Nexo has a range of 380 miles compared to 226 miles for the best-selling battery electric vehicle, Nissan's Leaf. That is especially useful for heavy good vehicles and buses, which are expected to be the primary market for fuel cells initially. The heavy-duty truck side is the biggest initial opportunity for fuel cells because they are very hard to electrify with batteries. 
said uh, Martin uh, Wikorofs, uh, Wikors, a consultancy for Sweden's power cell. Batteries would take up more space in heavy goods trucks and would take hours to recharge. Once costs come down, fuel cells may also appeal for car buyers who do not want to worry about frequent and time-consuming recharging. If fuel cells catch on in ships and trains as well as road vehicles, platinum demand may get a boost despite its lower loadings due to the sheer numbers, some analysts said. Global demand for platinum for fuel cells from vehicles is forecast to rise 366,000 ounces by 2030, uh, but to surge to 965,000 ounces, which include other fuel cell and hydrogen uses, said Jonathan Butler, head of business development at Mitsubishi Corporation. So it's interesting, and I do think that they touched on something here uh, with regards to platinum and its demand for this uh, growing technology. And that's really what it's about, uh, you know, hydrogen fuel cell technology um, and fuel cell technology is really in its infancy. So it makes no, it's no surprise that we're going to see less platinum used um, as the technology uh, begins to um, harness and become utilized and get better as time goes on. And that's the really the thing about this. So I wouldn't read too much in this article about platinum demand. I think it'll actually increase as the technology becomes more apparent and uh, use, especially for all these other applications. And if they can do it cheaply, well, you're going to see that demand in the numbers and the sheer numbers will catch up and increase and that demand that platinum will still be used. Platinum is used. And I do think this article is also, um, you know, not mentioning because it's really not the subject of the article. But, you know, with palladium's price climbing um, and continuing to climb, but it's starting to fall back a little bit. The retooling of the catalytic converters for, for gasoline power vehicles. Um, I think you're going to see more platinum use as it gets retooled for, for that um, application in those vehicles. But it's fascinating to see how this is all playing out. Um, it just goes to show you that platinum is mainly an industrial metal. But it, I do like consider platinum to be the fringe precious metal um, because it is used in coinage. And it has been used in coinage for quite some time, uh, at least in for collector coins and for what's known as investment grade bullion. I mean, I do think that investment may be a bit more proper of a word to use uh, with regards to platinum because it's not really as closely tied to gold and silver in that regard as a monetary metal. Um, but it is fascinating indeed. Platinum is an amazing metal, and I think it's um, something to keep an eye on. And I'm still bullish on platinum, and I've actually repositioned my position uh, this year to gather a bit more platinum uh, for the exact uh, reasons that I think it's somewhat undervalued. Um, historically, it has traded higher than gold, and it's a rarer precious metal than gold, but I would be interested to see uh, how much of it has been produced in the last five years compared to the five years prior to that. Um, I'm sure there's some research that could be done to see uh, what that production, what those production numbers are. Um, it is, <clears throat> as well as plat palladium, the platinum metal groups, a uh, very dense metal. It is the actually the densest of the precious metals out there, and I think that's it's what makes it so attractive as a as a catalytic as a, as a catalyst in this regard. So there you have it. It is fascinating. And we'll see how things progress. Technology moves at its pace. And I think that um, utilizing precious metals that are very difficult to replace considering the properties therein. And uh, I think that's something uh, to behold for those of us who do accumulate precious metals. You know, there's there's a thread of, of materials like graphene, carbon-based materials that can be where the molecules can be manipulated to um, somewhat mimic uh, the 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 benefits that you would see in precious metals like silver and gold. But really, can you replace silver and gold to some extent? Possibly, but not uh, as much as, uh, as some are promising. It's going to take a lot of work and time and effort to get it uh, to that level. We're years ahead away from that kind of uh, development, in my opinion. Uh, regardless, I do think even as technology moves in that direction, we will see, especially gold and silver, move 
um, um, closer to their respective role as monetary metals in due course. But uh, that's a subject for another video. Post your thoughts about platinum and its use in fuel cells and um, and its use being less used in fuel cells. And post your thoughts below about this. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.